Demystifying separable phrasal verbs, questions and negatives. Hello, language learners. Today, we're diving deeper into the world of separable phrasal verbs. As we progress on our English learning journey, you'll discover that these quirky constructions play a crucial role in everyday communication. Specifically, we'll be tackling how to use separable phrasal verbs in questions and negatives. So, let's get started. First things first. Let's recap what separable phrasal verbs are. Separable phrasal verbs are a type of phrasal verb where the verb and the particle, or particles, can be separated by the object. For example, turn off the light can also be expressed as turn the light off. Remember, not all phrasal verbs are separable, so be careful. Now, when it comes to forming questions with separable phrasal verbs, we usually place the particle at the end of the sentence. Let's look at a few examples. 1. Could you turn off the light? To could you turn the light off? 2. Can you pick up my prescription? To can you pick my prescription up? Notice how in the questions, the verb and particle can be separated by the object. Similarly, when we use separable phrasal verbs in negative sentences, we often place the particle at the end. Check out these examples. 1. I didn't turn off the light. 2. I didn't turn the light off. 2. She can't pick up my prescription. To she can't pick my prescription up. Once again, we see that the verb and particle can be separated by the object in negative sentences. To truly master separable phrasal verbs in questions and negatives, practice is key. Try creating your own examples using different separable phrasal verbs. For instance, 1. Should I bring over the cake? To should I bring the cake over? 2. He didn't take down the notes. To he didn't take the notes down. And there you have it. Using separable phrasal verbs in questions and negatives might seem tricky at first, but with a little practice, it will become second nature. As always, don't be afraid to make mistakes. They're a vital part of the learning process. Keep practicing and see you in the next lesson.